Happy New Year, pen pals. Are you excited for 2019? I sure am. I'd like to take a moment and thank all of our subscribers, all 6,000 of you, for supporting our channel and shopping at goldspot.com. Our goal for 2018 was to raise the quality of our YouTube videos to the next level. We promise to continue setting the bar higher and higher, producing entertaining and informative fine writing videos. As we look forward to all the fun that we have in store for 2019, let's look back at the Gold Spot Pen's top seven pen review videos of 2018. Enjoy. All right, welcome pen pals. This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens. Uh, the Optima is going to be with the rhodium. So uh, fans of silver trim, you're gonna, you're gonna love this because uh, you know they are coming out with colors in the Optima all this year. That I'm not doing anything on, you know, I'm just giving it a very light, feather light touch. It's pretty much figured out the issue. Puts an ebonite feed on this as opposed to a plastic feed. Ability for it to return back to form, to be able to go to that finer line and to be able to write either fine or extra fine, which this, the, the Omas is, is considered to be an extra fine. I'm here today with another video installment to show off a brand new pen, a uh, brand new line of pens that come from Taiwan uh, called Opus 88. The acrylic on this is translucent, so it's not completely clear, as you can see, it has a, an ample amount of transparency with the ebonite and the resin, but is actually a complete demonstrator that has frosted and transparent effects in the material. The uh, Coloro Demo is comparable in size, and this is the Rialo, so this is the large size. Then we have the Coloro, and then we have the Coloro Demonstrator. Steel nib, and the number six size. And uh, no flexibility in the nib, although let me just uh, give that a, a whirl right now. No, this, this nib is just, you know, has no variant characteristics in terms of its ability to flex Same. or to... Black. All black, to be exact. How much different is this pen from the Charcoal Umbra Safari? How does it compare with the Shiny Black Safari? Is the matte texture the same as the previous editions, like the Dark Lilac and Petrol? From the same sturdy ABS plastic that you've come to know and love. The last five years have brought us such delights as the 2013 Neon Yellow, 2014 Neon Coral, 2015 Neon Lime, 2016 Dark Lilac, 27. The body and cap have a textured matte finish similar to the Petrol, Dark Lilac, and Charcoal, which is also referred to as the Umbra outside of the USA. It has been an everyday staple of the Safari line for well over a decade. The All Black, on the other hand, is a special edition for only 2018. Because we're As taking we a look at the Conklin Durograph Knights Collection. Originally established in 1898 by Roy Conklin in Toledo, Ohio, the Conklin Pen Company has a long history that inspires the current line of writing instruments made today. Opening up the blue leatherette clamshell box, the pen is revealed, resting on a soft fabric platform, held in place with a sash and elastic band, and a deep purple marbled acrylic to round out the selection. The chrome accents and clip are simple adornments that add a bit of polish to the design. To operate it just like any international cartridge converter filling system. Submerge the nib and feed entirely into the ink. But it results in elongating the pen to 7 inches in length, which displaces the weight of the pen toward the back, making an awkward experience for most long distance writers. Welcome back, pen pals. This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens. Today is October 22nd. It is a Monday, but what a great Monday it is. And today is a fun day because we get to reveal and announce our latest Retro 51 Tornado Skyline Limited Edition London. Originally settled by Romans two millennia ago, this limited edition Retro 51 Tornado Rollerball pen is screen printed in a fog gray color palette with Big Ben, the London Eye, the Shard, the London Underground Railway, 
the Leiden Hall building. Oh, okay. We'll start shipping today, October 22nd. Chances are, if you're looking at this video after October 22nd, it may not be available anymore at goldspot.com. If you're like me and love fountain pens for all of the ink colors that you could use with them, then you'll love this hack. You'll need a rubber band, you'll need a pipette or an eyedropper, you'll need a, a, a paper clip would work or I have uh, alligator pliers. Here. Remove the back stopper plug here. Four, thoroughly go. clean the sponge tube under running tap water. Squeeze repeatedly and flush out all the remaining color until the tube is completely white. Step six. Santa came early with a very special present that we've been wishing for all year. This week, the Goldspot Pens exclusive Sailor 1911 Sea Glass Fountain Pen came ashore. The 1911 Sea Glass is an exclusive collaboration between Goldspot Pens and Sailor of Japan. After months of working with Sailor and our US distributor, we were able to bring the vision of this pen to life with a prototype. But what to name it? So much relies on a good name for a pen these days. Guru, Karen, lives close by the beach. She brought the Jersey Shore to Gold Spot for our photographer, Josh, to shoot some amazing beauty images of the pen laying on driftwood, sand, seaweed, and a Zen garden. Carat gold nib, and the large uses a 21 carat gold nib. Thus, the higher gold content and bigger size of the nib puts the large at a higher price point. Both sides are- Introducing the Pilot Custom 823 a fountain pen that almost needs no introduction. Chances are you may have heard about this pen from numerous pen review bloggers and people singing its praises on social media. The Pilot Custom 823 debuted in the year 2000, Pilot Namiki's 82nd anniversary, selling at the price point of 30,000 yen. The shaped profile, crafted from translucent resin, has a depth and weight that gives the pen a solid feel while being light enough to write cramp-free ideas. Choose from fine, medium, or broad nib sizes to accommodate your writing style. Please keep in mind that Pilot nibs tend to run a slight bit thinner than their Western for hours on why this pen is a must-have for any serious writer, but I'd rather show you by creating an illustration using the Custom 823. A5 size journal pages before the ink ran dry. Opening the blind cap reactivates the ink in the feed, and you're good to go once more.